So he went to Masano school? Yes. And when you read the book, uh, it's clear that he has sharp memories of his teachers. He has a sharp memory of his uh, contemporaries, people like Professor Beth Bethel Logot, people like uh, Brody Nabuera. So is it that he took notes that he could remember all his peers or how does he remember all these people? Yeah, that, that is something that stands out with my father. He was a very observant person and he definitely had a big memory, memory Kaliech. But then, to be fair, the people who went to Maseno back then were also giants in their own way. Like you mentioned Professor Bethel Ogot. These were my father's classmates in high school. But that class had a good number of eminent people who ended up excelling uh, in the world out there, thereafter. Like uh, you mentioned Bethel Ogot, that's a class that produced six professors, which included Bethel Ogot himself, Professor Thomas Odiambo, who is a renowned entomologist who founded uh, Isipe, which still stands today. Uh, there was also Professor Muga, who is also a renowned professor. That's just to name a few. And then that same class produced five cabinet ministers. And these cabinet ministers were Burudi Nabuera, like you mentioned before, who was a school captain. Dr. William Odongo Omamo, who was a deputy school captain, my father. There was Isaac Omolo Okero, who served in the Kenyatta government as a minister. There was uh, Joseph Odero Joey, who was a minister in the Kenyatta government as well, and ended up becoming a diplomat in the United Nations, and was instrumental, together with my father, in lobbying for the UNEP to be set up in Kenya. And last but not least, there was also Samuel Ayodo, who was in the first cabinet of the late Muse Jomo Kenyatta. So these were men and women, men who were not easy to forget. His teachers as well were eminent people. Uh, and you could say career, career teachers and pioneer teachers, the likes of Samuel Ayan. Samuel Ayan is the one who you hear the famous Ayani Estate in Kibera. Many people say Ayani Estate, but it's actually Ayan. So Samuel Ayan ended up becoming uh, the very first black Kenyan to head the National Housing Corporation. And that is how it is under his leadership that estates such as Onyonka and Langata, Ngei, Otiende estate were built. So that was one of my father's teachers at Maseno and ended up being a very close friend to him. There was also another one, uh, Mesha Kojal, who was his teacher and ended up being a permanent secretary in the ministry that he found when he, became, when he became minister for natural resources in the 70s. Yes, yeah, so to your question, he had a, a very good memory, yes. But then the Maseno of old was also a school that had very, very uh, talented individuals and eminent people who ended up excelling in the world later. So <clears throat> clearly Maseno was a school to reckon with. Yes, indeed, it was.